Hello and welcome back to another episode of Monday Night Football and we are back here with the playoff mode and this week we are the Philadelphia Evils and we are up against the Motor City Maniacs and in our Mutant Divisional Round 1 we've also got I think that's Michael Harden Mute Laters directly above number 4 number 1 I think that is Grim Bay Attackers whilst on the other side I can see what I believe is Galaxy, Galaxy Chaos is number two. Number three, I think it's Orcs of Hazard. Four, don't know. And number one, don't know. As I've said before, still somewhat learning all of the teams and their logos and stuff. But anyway, we're not going to continue rambling on. We're going to try and win the Mayhem Bowl as the Philadelphia Eagles. So without further ado, let's cause some fucking mayhem. And welcome to Gord Field, Detroit Rock City, Michigan. Field has had six bikes, four fire pits. The weather forecast is in the dome, so perfect conditions for a match here in the Mutant Football League. This is the Divisional Playoffs Round 1. The Motor City Maniacs, Philadelphia Eagles, squaring up toe to toe. Who's going to move into the next round? It's game day battle, Philadelphia Eagles, the Motor City Maniacs here at Godfield, Detroit, Rock City, Michigan. Here is Virus Decay. He's ready to slice and dice because he's a badass mother. It will be the Motor City Maniacs with the kick and it's long. Here's Tyron Eagle picking up the ball. He's evaded the spikes. He's moving around. His defense is already making excellent blocks, but he's being chased. He's still going. Excellent move by the defense. He's not even picking up any turbo. He's just having a nice job, but he, all of a sudden he's been chased. Can he make it to the end? No, that is first down. This is the first down for the Philadelphia Evils. What are they going to come up with here? And there's the snap. And there's the throw. Straight into Hackswell. He's going to make it. And it is touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles up by six against the Motor Oh, and a penalty has already been called. What is the penalty for? Mutant male privilege. They did not check their privilege. This is truly problematic. Ten yard penalty. And referee has just been attacked because evidently he was bribed. New referee Jake, I'm not in the Mafia Cassetti, has pulled 15 yard penalty for unnecessary ref slaughter. Still first down, and it is first and 35. There is the snap. And there's the throw. He's open. It's just got to go around the five pit. He's made a pass, and now he's got spikes to the 40. He's got past the line of scrimmage, and. Touchdown by Hackswall, Philadelphia Eagles up by six against the City Maniacs. He is pleased with that touchdown after two penalties going against the Eagles. And it's Nate Elliott with the field goal attempt. And there's the snap, there's the kick, and it is good. Eagles up by seven. Snake Elliott will be getting us back underway here in this first period and there's the kick it's long by Snake Elliott Eagles looking to get through oh just takes him out don't see the Maniacs need something good from this here on this first down and there's the snap he's looking for a pass it's through he's got past the line of scrimmage and there we go back to first down Eagles need to stop from there. Oh, he got through, but before he's going to pass. Another penalty has been called. Unnecessary manslaughter, 15 yard penalty against the Eagles. For Dansway Drift is dead. Twenty-one seconds left of this opening period. And there's the pass. Oh, and he's made it through. But he gets taken down. We are back to this. Beltra rocks there. Looking at he's just laughing his ass off. The goal Killians is dead. 
That is the end of the first quarter. Start of the second, Evil's up by seven against the Mozi Maniacs. And there we go, start of the second, and there's the pass. Oh, he's trying to make it through, but he does not make it. Timeout was pulled by the Maniacs. And there's the snap. There's the pass. Oh, excellent pass. Can the Maniacs get through? No, just, just miss out. A second timeout was pulled by the Maniacs. Well, they've got up their sleeve. To they are close. Close to getting that touchdown. Can they make it through? No, they can't. Trying to run it through. It is second and five at the goal. What can the Maniacs get from this? Just run it through. Oh, God, they are getting close. Time is running out. But a timeout, the final one, has been called by the Motor City Maniacs. What are they planning? Looks like they're looking for the pass. And there it is. It is a touchdown. Motor City Maniacs are back in the game after that touchdown. Brave Slaynard scoring that touchdown. The Maniacs looking for a field goal attempt. And there's the kick. And it is good. We are now tied at seven. Boat City Maniacs to get us back underway in this second period. It is seven apiece. Tyron Eagle picks up the ball from the kickoff. He's being chased. He's got four. Oh, he's already got past one. Can he make the pass two? But he's coming up to the spikes. Here we go. There's the referee in the line of scrimmage. And he's got three chasing and he gets taken out. 22 seconds left. What can the Eagles get from this before the second half? There's the throw. It's Haxwell. Oh no, he's landed on the landmine. Haxwell has been killed after running into that landmine. Philadelphia Eagles calling for a timeout. There is five seconds left. What are they going to get? There's the snap. There's the throw. And it's a touchdown by Dickie Dodgers. Excellent play there. Great throw. Evils up by 13 to 7. Dickie Dodgers there with the touchdown. It will be Snake Elliott with the field goal attempt. And there's the snap. Waylon Hurts the quarterback. He gets the two point conversion. The Evils up by 15. He's pleased with that one. Second touchdown. At half time, Philadelphia Eagles up by 15 against Mosey Maniacs, who have seven. It's time for everybody's favorite game at half time. It is Ref Rampage. Diane, don't care again, is the man to take on this challenge for the Philadelphia Eagles. How will he do? Let's find out. And we're off straight away. One, two, three. Apparently four dead already, and he's just taken out another one. More beans. He needs to find himself a shotgun. He's got 11 rounds left. 12, no, he's got 12 kills. Five rounds. Shotgun is right in the middle. He needs to somehow run rings. He's got six now. But he is taken out with nine seconds to go. It is over. Final score, 365. That is a fail because he did not make it to the end. Start of the third quarter, Philadelphia Eagles, 15, Motor City Maniac, 7. Waylon Hurts, he's looking to keep that momentum going for the Eagles to take them into the next round. Snake Elliott preparing to get us on the way. And there's the kick. It is high by Elliott. Oh, straight down. What are the Maniacs going to get from this? And they're trying to run it through, but he just gets taken out. Maniacs are currently 7 and 8. Well, they're going to get there's the pass. There's the throw. Oh, and the pass was dropped. 
Maniac still third and eight. What are they going to try and get from this? And there's a pass. He's ran it through. And he made it all the way. Oh, a oh, fumble. What's happened? And it is JT Deadwoods. He has picked it up. The defense has picked it up and he's running away with it. What's he going to do? Is he going to make it to the end? He's got the spikes to contend with. He's going around. And he's moved. He's still got through chasing. Can he make it to that end zone? It looks like. Yes, sir. It is. Touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles. 21 to 7 against Mo. So many out. And that was JT Deadwood with that touchdown after the fumble. And death. Because Grave Slamer is dead. Trailer Heckler is dead. Snake Hellier with the field goal attempt. And there's the kick. It is good. He moves up 22 to 7. Snake Hellier to get us back on the way. And there's the kick. It is long. Almost hit. Going straight into the end zone. Oh, Gray Bleeds there, trying to get through there. Maniacs have 33 seconds left of this quarter to be able to get back into this match. What's he going to get? Someone take out the quarterback for crying out loud. JT Bedwoods with the sack there. It was a bit of a kerfuffle to take out that quarterback. It is second and 23. 10 seconds left time coming out. What are they going to get? There's blocks. And the quarterback once again sacked. And it's safety. But a penalty has been called. Unnecessary man score by the Motor City Maniac. And 15 yard penalty. Jared Goff is dead. And there's the kick, Philadelphia Eagles now up by 24 to 7. Whatever happens after this play, and that will be the end of the quarter. But it looks like Tyron Eagle, he's just made this look easy. But is he going to be taken out the last second? Yes, he was. Now we're at the end of the quarter. Waylon Reaper has been injured. And Spacey Stalker has also been injured. Start of the fourth quarter, Philadelphia's up 24 to 7. What are the Eagles going to get from this? And there's the snap. There's the pass to Vile Slanders. Yes, it is. Nice and easy touchdown. And another player has just fallen into the fire pit. You can see it going off, but Philadelphia Eagles are up by 30 to 7. Vile Slanders with that all important touchdown. Harmony or scary has been injured. Snake Elliott with another field goal attempt, and there's the kick. It is good. 31 to 7 to Philadelphia Eagles. Snake Elliott will once again get us back on the way. There is the kick. It is extremely long, heading down towards that. A penalty has been called after that attack. Unnecessary manslaughter, Philadelphia Eagles, 15-yard penalty. Gray Bleedster has been killed. One minute 47, or one minute 43, sorry, is left. There's the throw. Oh, he's made it through. A timeout was called by the Maniac. It is still 31 to 7, but what's going to happen? There's the throw. Oh, he's made it through, but oh, still at first down. Maniacs call in their second time out of the half. What are they planning to do? Oh, it's, oh, it's a chainsaw attack. That's what it is. What's going to happen? There's a fumble. Gennard Savory has picked the ball up. He's made it through the defense, has recovered it. Can he make one of the longest runs he looks like he's going for it he's still being chased but he's made it past what those spikes just so excited look at him go he's almost there so close and touch down philadelphia eagles even after the chainsaw attack they are up 37 to 7. 
JT Deadwoods is dead. As is Hudson Iron Bank. And it will be a field goal attempt to the Eagles with 30 seconds left of this final quarter. There is the kick by Snake Elliott and it is good. 38 to 7 Philadelphia Eagles. Snake Elliott going to get us back on the way and there's the kick. It's not exactly the best one. Evan Brown picks it up. But he gets taken down. And a penalty has been called. 15 yard penalty, unnecessary man score, and the Philadelphia Eagles there. Evan Brown has been, indeed, been killed. 25 seconds left of this match. What are the maniacs going to get out of it? Oh, they're going to get a quarterback sack, and that's what they're going to get by Gant. Bernard Savory, who's got one kill, one sack, four tackles to his name. The final timeout for the Motor City Maniacs was called. Cool. What are they got planning to do? There's the throw. Oh, he oh, almost made it through. Timeout was called by the Eagles. They could have just let time run out, but they decided to take pity. There's the throw, but the pass was dropped, deflected. The Philadelphia Eagles are victorious in this match. They have moved into the next round. Let's take a look at some of those stats. But first, we are going to hear from Waylon Hurts, who got three touchdowns in that match. He is hyper pleased. You can see that in his red eyes. Philadelphia Eagles win the match. They are victorious, winning 38 to 7 against the Motor City Maniacs. Let's have a look at some of those stats now. For the Philadelphia Eagles, 38 points on the board with four first downs, two rushing yards, 88 passing yards with 90 total yards, zero turnovers and a hellacious amount of kills with seven and a time of possession of two minutes and 27 seconds whilst the Motor City Maniacs seven points on the board eight first downs 37 rushing yards 116 passing yards which is 153 in total two turnovers not a single kill to their name time of possession five minutes and 33 seconds Philadelphia Eagles brutal yet dominant the Motor City Maniacs were wasteful but the Eagles, they are through to the next round. Who will they face? Join us next time to find out. Philadelphia Eagles through to the Mutant Conference second round, the semi-finals before reaching the Mayhem Bowl. They go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. And I did get it wrong. It's not the Green Bay Attackers that the Mutilators were playing. It was the Midway Mutants. And just so you know, number four was the Blitzberg Steelhead, number one, and that's in the Monster Conference, by the way. Uh, and number one was the Insane Colts, and yes, Galaxy Chaos and the Orcs of Hazard. So it's Blitzberg Steelhead, the Orcs of Hazard, in the Monster Conference round two before reaching the Mayhem Bowl. Who's going to get there? Who's going to reach that all-important Mayhem Bowl final? Well. Without further ado, let's get into it and cause some more goddamn motherfucking mayhem. Welcome back to the Mutant Football League and it's hard crash, my pride, Washington Field Hazard. 14 landmines, one set spike, where the forecast cloudy with rain. This is the conference championship, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Micro Harm Mutilators. Who's going to make it to the Mayhem Bowl and face either the Blitzberg Steelhead or the other team that I just can't remember? It's game day battle, Philadelphia Eagles, Michael Hall Mutilators, Hard Crash, Michael Hall Mushington. Dementia Scythe, he looks really pumped and I can't really tell if he's smiling. It will be the Mutilators to get us underway and there's the kick, it is long, heading towards that end zone. There's Tyrant Eagle, he's picked up the ball, he's running along with it, where's he going and oh my goodness, it's a fumble, Scarrell Valuel has picked the ball up. He, and that was a huge mistake there. The defense recovered. 
Tyron Eagle is already dead after running into that landmine. DJ Bleed Jr. is also dead. The Mute Layers have the first down. There's a short pass. Is it going to make a front? No! So close, though. There's the pass. There's the throw. And it is incomplete. He was in the end zone. So close there for the Mute Layers. He was in the end zone. That's all kills them. There's the throw. Oh, and it's deflected again. Looks like the Mule Layers are going for a field goal attempt. What are they going to do? And there's the snap. There's the kick. Mute Layers up by three as the ball is good. Mute Layers up by three after that field goal. And there is the kick. It's Belcher Rocks who has picked the ball up. He might be big. He might be a robot. But he is strong as fuck. He will be able to hold you up. He's still being chased. He's got three chasing him. Oh, someone got hit by the spikes. Oh, and Beltrox got taken out. What are the Philadelphia Eagles going to get from this? And there's the snap. And there's the throw. Oh, oh, it was dropped. Oh, my God. And someone just hit a landmine. Hackswell is dead. And so is Kidney Bones. And Slobby Banger is injured. Philadelphia Eagles have 30 seconds left of this opening quarter. And there's the snap. There's the pass wide open. Oh, and he's fumbled it. Another man has just gone into the landmines. Callus Goddard is dead. What is up with the Eagles today? Jordan Crooks also dead. Blasphemous Bustin is injured. Eagles are not on their game. They are not paying attention to what's around them. They need to do something about it. Hustle Kilson is just going for a jolly walk. But it now... Oh. Bernard Savory. But he is, he is savoring that tackle. That attack on the quarterback. Because Hustle Kilson is dead. That was the end of the first quarter. The start of the second. Philadelphia 0. Michael Mule is 3. Mutilators, they are second and one, what they're going to get from this, this is all tight, there's the snap, rough shot plenty, he's made it through, but he gets taken out by Demonte Raddox. Timeout was called by the Mutilators, what are they planning to do here, and there's the snap, shotgun attack, that's what they're planning, people are getting gunned down all over the place, but he only had a finite amount of bullets. Josh Threat was killed for the Philadelphia Eagles and the timeout was called by the Mutilators. What they planning now? They are second and two. The clock back has been sacked and it's an interception. It's a fumble. What's happened? The defense has recovered it. It's Barbaric Scarnet. He's looking to get to the end zone. He's got a clear field. No one's going to be able to touch him. What is it, boys and girls? It's academic. It's touchdown. Oh, no. A penalty has been called. 10 yard penalty on the Philadelphia Eagles for not feeling it when clearly everyone else here is feeling it. Feel it, fellas. Genocide is dead. And there's the assault on the referee. That is going to cost the Eagles. Blight scary 15 yard penalty for unnecessary manslaughter on the Philadelphia Eagles. 57 seconds still left. What are the new ladies going to get from this? There's the throw. Oh, it's an incomplete pass. That's what it is. Eagles really need to get back into this match. They need something good. And there's the throw. Oh, pass deflected. Still third and ten. New ladies are looking for something. Oh my god! And the man has set himself on fire. But what's going to happen? There's the fumble. But Skyler Rocket has recovered it for the offense. And it is a touchdown. Michael our new layers. Several players were set on fire. I'm pretty sure several were killed. But it doesn't matter. Skyler Rocket got the touchdown for the new players. 
JT Deadwoods is dead, as is Gennard Savory. Savory. But Rothschild Plenty is also dead, and Jacob Gleason was injured. It has been deaths everywhere for both the Mutilators and the Eagles, but it's going to be a field goal attempt. And there's the kick. It is good. Mutilators up by 10. Mutilators picking us back off, and there's the kick. It's over to the right, but fires the K. He has picked it up. Landmines. He's got through them. He's coming up to the spikes. He's got past them. He is now past the line of scrimmage. He is being chased. Will he make it all of the way? He's just got to get past that line mind, which he has. And look at that. It is a touchdown straight from that kickoff. This will also be the end of the first half. Virus Decay with the touchdown straight from the kickoff. Diane Still is also dead. Snake Elliott, he's looking for that field goal, but there's a the snap, and Waylon Hurts, search down, two-point conversion, Philadelphia Eagles back in the game, eight points to ten against the Mutilators as we go into half-time. This is half-time, Philadelphia Eagles, eight, Mark on Mutilators, ten. Ref Rampage is back. Who's taking on this challenge today? Dementia Scythe, the wide receiver. How well is he going to do? Let's find out. And he's off. He's ready to pick up the shotgun. He's got 18 rounds. He is going to keep it down. He is feeling, feeling froggy. Even though he's a big, massive mutant, it doesn't matter. He's got himself cornered. He's taken out referee. Oh, and he's just ran into one. That is it. That was terrible. He had 17 seconds to go with the final score, 298. It doesn't matter, that is a fail for the Philadelphia Eagles and Dementia Sight. Start of the third quarter, Philadelphia Eagles 8, my bar mule is 10. Belcher rocks, he wants to get back into this match after that for the first half. Nick Elliott is looking to get it back on the way and there's the kick it is not as long which is quite peculiar Strig metal bit though looking to get through and oh my god he gets taken out and now he's dead yes guaranteed he is dead Strig metal bit dead out of the game all short pass the apex crushings oh It is second and five for the Mike Arm Mutilators. What are they going to be able to get from this? They are still in the lead though. And there's the snap, Jacob Threesome. Just waltzing along, but he gets sacked. Malik Shingleton taking the sack in there. Look how happy he is in that red eye. Here we go, third and nine. What's going to happen? Shotgun attack. Oh, the quarterback just shotgun everyone. And now Virus Decay, he is just taken out. That quarterback, after many of these teammates were killed, Raven Shallow Grave dead. Belcher Rocks dead. Mega Max dead. It looks like it's going to be a punt by the Mutilators. What's going to happen though? And. There's the punt. It is picked up by Gorgon Powered. Will the Philadelphia Eagles defense be up the whole time? No, Gorgon Powered. Correct token. Oh, and there was an attempt, the quarterback sack attempt. Fifteen yard penalties on the Mike Armulos for unnecessary manslaughter after the quarterback was attacked. Waylon Hurts is dead. What's gonna happen after that quarterback sack attack? And there's the snap. There's the pass short one to Vile Slanders. Is he gonna make it through? Oh he's got passed after the dive! 
He's still being chased by three. Will he be able to make it to the end zone? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. They are back in this match, 14 to 10. Final slam is there with the touchdown. Snake Elliott with the field goal attempt. There's the kick. It is good, baby. It's good. 15 10. At the start of the fourth, Philadelphia Eagles 15, my God, Mule is 10. Snake Elliott gets back on the way here in the fourth quarter. After what happened at the end, there's a short kick. Picked up by Bleeding Point. Oh, just crushing blows. How are the Mule is going to respond to this? What's going to happen? There is the snap. Jacob Greeson. Oh, he gets sacked. Malik Shingleton, second second. Timeout called by the Micro Mute Layers. What have they got up their sleeve? Jacob Friesen. Oh, once again sacked. And a penalty has been called. 15 yard penalty against the Philadelphia Eagles up for unnecessary manslaughter. Jacob Friesen is dead. There's what Apex Crushing is going to do. Oh, he gets taken out. The Mulets need something special here. Just the ball back going to do. And he gets sacked one more time. The Monte Rannix there with his first sack of the match. And it is the Mutilators with the turnover. Philadelphia Eagles now on the offensive. And there's the snap. What's going to happen? And there's the pass. Miles Slanders. Oh, fumble. Evil Ben has picked it up, though. The offense is recovered. He needs to get away. But he just ran straight into danger. Miles Slanders is dead. Optimus Spartan is dead. And there's the snap. What's going to happen? Gorgon Powered. He's going to make it through. Oh, he gets taken out. Mutilay is called near third and final touchdown. And there it is. Will he be able to make it through? He's being attacked by all angles, but he gets taken down. Fourth and four. There's the pass. Oh, stop cold. Lobby banger there taking it for the new layers. They are now back in the offense. Barker Ginsu has been injured. New layers need something big here. Short pass. Player is on fire. Is he going to get all the way through? Can he? He's almost there. Oh, but it, it's a fumble. It is a fumble. Barbaric Scarnet has. He's running away with it. Where's it going to go? But it won't matter what happens because we are now at the end of this match. The Philadelphia Eagles are victorious in this championship match. Barker Ginsu pleased with his MVP award here in this championship match. Final score, the Philadelphia Eagles 15, my Grand Mule 10. Let's take a look at some of those stats. The final stat as it is, score for the Philadelphia Eagles, 15, one first down, 13 rushing yards, 51 passing yards, 64 total yards, two turnovers, six kills with the time of possession of 2 minutes 32. The Mute Layers score 10, two first down, 58 rushing yards, five passing yards with the total yardage of 63, one turnover, three kills, time of possession, five minutes 28. Pretty even contest, a little bit shady here and there. Evils need to do better if they're going to lift that mayhem bowl in the final. How will they do? Join us next time here on EVL SN. Philadelphia Eagles through to the mayhem bowl final.
and it's time for the Mayhem Bowl. The Blitzberg Steelheads ended up beating the Orcs of Hazard. What's going to happen? The fourth seed against the third seed. Who's going to lift that Mayhem Bowl at the end of this match? Well, as always, no more talk. Let's just fucking get into it and cause some goddamn mayhem. Welcome back to the Mutant Football League, the Allergic Stadium, Lost Wages, Helvada, Field Hazard, 6 line lines, 5-5 five, five, picks, 2 plus source, 30 forecast, heat and lightning. This is the Mayhem Bowl, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Blitzberg Steelhead, squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to lift that coveted trophy, the Mayhem Bowl, what every team wants? It is game day battle, the Blitzberg Steelheads and Philadelphia Eagles, Electric Stadium, Los Rangers, Elfada! Virus Decay, he's ready for a fight, he's ready for war, and I'm sure he wants to kill. It will be the Blitzberg Steelheads to get us underway, there is the kick, it is long, Tyrant Eagle, he picks up the ball. And he has made it past. Is he going to be taken out? Oh, excellent defense there. Helping him out. He's still running. He's still going. He's made it past the line of scrimmage. Is he going to make it? Oh, he just gets taken out. Here we go. This is first and ten. First, first down in the match. And there's some lightning in the background. There's the snap. Will Vile Slanders get through? He's got Buzzsaw as well, and he's just made it through, and he gets taken out. Waylon Hurt has been injured. And here we go. What's going to happen? Second down. There's the throw to the Mencia Scythe. What a pass. What a touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles up by six already. The Mencia Scythe. What a pass. What a, just what a touchdown. As you can hear, the crowd has woken up here for this Mayhem Bowl. Snake Elliott. There's the kick. It's good. Evil's up by seven. After that amazing touchdown, Elliott gets us back underway. It's long, almost at the end zone. Vile Fiend, he is looking to push far up the pitch, but there he goes. Evil's looking to stop the steelhead. Oh my god, Nasty Scarris almost just waltzed on through. It is second and seven to the steelheads. What are they going to get from this play? And there's the snap. It's past Nasty Scarris. Oh, oh, almost just so close. Timeout was called early by the Evils. What have they got in mind? What further? There's the pass from Nasty Scaris. Makes the pass to Fire Pit. Getting through. We are at the first down, end of the quarter. Jumba Okabor is dead. Sven Rottenberger has been injured. Start the second, Evils up by seven. Here we go, start the second, first down to Steelhead. What are they going to get from this? What's Rupert going for? He's going for a long one. Oh, and it's intercepted by JT Deadwoods. But a penalty has been called. Stupidity penalty on the Philadelphia Eagles for insisting that rush is better than Led Zeppelin. That's 10 yards. And there's the attack on the referee. Jake, I'm not in the Mafia can't set. he is in the match, and it's a 15-yard penalty against the Philadelphia Eagles for killing the previous ref. First down once again for the Steelheads. They are inching closer to that end zone. Short pass, Nasty Scarris gets taken out. Steelheads called a timeout right there. What have they got in mind? What are they intending to use? There's a short pass, Nasty Scarris gets through, but it's third and six. Steelheads calling their second time out of this half. What are they planning? What are they got in their mind? Mason Rude pop. Oh, incomplete pass, but he managed to take out Josh Threat and Virus Decay with that exploding ball. 
It looks like it could be a field goal attempt. Maybe. Who knows? There's the pass. And there's the kick. It's good. Four points to the Steelheads. That was a hell of a kick there. Steelheads with the long ball. And Tyron Eagle has picked it up. He's running towards that end zone already. He's got it in his sight. But he gets taken out nice and early before he can do some serious damage to the Steelheads. And there's a snap. What's going to happen here? Bro. Oh, needs. It's a fumble. It's a fumble, but Final Slanders has recovered it. He needs to get away. Oh, my God. What the hell happened there? Maxwell is now officially dead. I think he might have been struck by lightning. We can't really tell. But there's the snap. Throw to Dickie Dodgers. What a pass. 26 seconds left at this opening half and oh my goodness fumble could win to glitch Patrick the defense has recovered it after that giganticism attack could win to glitch Patrick there what are the steelheads going to do right here 17 seconds left oh what the hell He's got a protective force field around him. I don't think anybody's going to be able to touch him right now. But he needs to run towards that end zone. Why is he not running for crying out loud? Nasty Scaris, you silly, silly man. You should have gone for the end zone. But Belcher rocks. He's got that kill in there. He is pleased with that. Nasty Scaris is indeed dead after not running towards that end zone. And this is half time, still heads for Evil 7. It's Ref Rampage who's taking it on here in this Mayhem Bowl. It will be Dementia Scythe once again. Can he do better than what he did last time? Let's find out. And we're off. Picked himself up a shotgun. He's gunning a few people down. He sees another one in front of him. It's about 18 bullets. Smart move, taking out the referee straight ahead. He's got another shotgun nearby. There's a few more. And he's got two more kills. That is 22 already. Another shotgun right nearby. He's taking them out. He's got 11 seconds to go. He's doing rather well. He sees another shotgun. He's running away from those referees. Six seconds. Now it's just going to have to be take as many out as he can. Will we be able to do it? And it is over. Just at the death. 47 score. 999. Brilliant score there for Dementia Scythe. Start the third quarter and the second half. Pittsburgh still heads for Philadelphia Evil 7. Belcher rocks. He wants to keep that going. He's not happy about what's been happening. And Snake Elliott with the kick. It's not very long once again, which is uncharacteristic. Vile Fiend no gets taken the hell out and now he is dead what are their still heads going to do here they've all oh, short pass to crony smell junior nearly ever so nearly made it through still heads need something big here in this second half now second and five sven rottenberg short pass Oh, but the exploding ball. Not sure if that killed anyone. But Sven Rottenberg, oh, he seems happy with it, no matter what. Oh, yes, JT Deadwoods is dead. It is still second and five. What's happening? Oh, time barrage. He gets taken out. Time barrage, though, has been killed, and Sven Rottenberg has been injured. Is this a punt or is this another field goal attempt? What's going to happen? There's the snap. It's a punt. It is the Eagles in offense after that shady piece of movement there by the Steelheads. And there's the snap. Kyle Slanders needs to do something, but he run backwards. And he's gone to safety, the Steelheads. What was he thinking? BB Rock there, he's claiming that. Waylon Hurts has been injured for the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, 
Snake Elliott with the short kick. And it's picked up by Derek Snot. Will he be able to make a throw? No. Okay, five seconds left of this period. What's going to happen? There's the throw. Oh, Miss Lapel, he's made it through. We are at the first down. Philadelphia Eagles choosing to pull a timeout. What have they chosen to do? That is the question for the Philadelphia Eagles. There's the throw. And it's an interception by DeMonte Raddox. He needs to run. Oh, he's made it through, but this is going to be the end of the quarter. But, oh, that is the tackle. DeMonte Raddox there with the interception. Start the fourth, still heard six, Evil seven. What are Evil's planning here at the start? The fourth, there we go. Kyle Slanders, he's got the ball. He's gonna make it through. Oh, he's almost there, almost. So very close, what's gonna happen? He seems to be running towards the five pit site, and it's a touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Miles Slanders there with the touchdown. You can see how happy he is after that, and it was a Royd Rage attack, but Chris Wormy is dead. And so is Payne Molson for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's going to be a field goal attempt for the Philadelphia Eagles. There's the pass, Waylon Hurts. Oh, oh, he gets taken out. And a massive... There's the kick by Snake Elliott. Eagles up by 13, Slammer and Slaywood. Oh my God, look at his acrobatic skills. Steelheads really need something big here. Short pass, Crony Snell Jr. He's made it through to first down. There's the snap. Sven Rottenberger, he's looking for the throw. Oh! That is second and one. Two timeouts have been called by the Steelheads. They really need something special. Crony Snell Jr. He's made it through. What's he going to do? He needs to get further up that field. Come on. Get further up that field, son. You can almost make it. Make it. Oh, no. First down. And a penalty has been called. Ten-yard penalty on the Blitzberg Steelheads for excessive crotch scratch crotch scratching and they've been told to stop smelling their fingers the dirty dirty boys Brony Snell Jr. is dead and so is Manix Shingleton oh the referee has just been attacked Greek Moore Helly 15 yard penalty on the Blitzberg Steelheads for murdering the last ref. 23 seconds left. What's going to happen? Here we go. Oh, Hack McPherson there. Taking the ball. What an interception. And here we go. It's Academic Boys and Girls. Is he going to wait? Oh, touchdown right before he got taken out. Evils up by 19. Hack McPherson there with the interception and that touchdown. Snake Elliott with the field goal attempt and here we go. But Waylon Hurts, two point conversion there. Philadelphia Evils 21 points up to six and look at Waylon Hurts. That red eye I'm sure has a little bit of sailing fluid. He's happy about that. And the Philadelphia Eagles are victorious in this Mayhem Bowl. Winning 21-6 against the Blitzberg Steelhead. What madness, what strange events have occurred in the run-up to this Mayhem Bowl.
but Wild Slanders, he has taken the MVP of the match. He can, you can see it in his eye, if you can see his eyes anyways, that he was happy. But the final score, still had 6 Evils 21. Time to look at some of those stats. Blitzberg still had score, and they had 6 with 5 first downs, 45 rushing yards, 41 passing yards, 86 in total. 2 turnovers, 2 kills, and a time of possession of 5 minutes and 10 seconds. The Philadelphia Eagles, 21 points on the board with 2 first downs, 80 rushing yards, 24 passing yards, 104 total yards, 1 turnover, 3 kills. 2 minutes 50 seconds in time of possession. The Evils lifting that mayhem bowl. Well done to the Philadelphia Evils defeating the Blitzberg Steelheads. Weird and wonderful the Mutant Football League can be. Even with multiple deaths in every single round, you can still get exciting football. Thank you for joining us, uh, joining us here on EVL SN. If I trip over my words, it's just because I'm extremely excited. But thank you for joining us on EVL SN, and we'll see you next time for some more Mutant Football League action. And there we have it, another Mayhem Bowl in the bag, this time with the Philadelphia Evils. <sighs> nice. That's four. It's four Mayhem Bowls now. And the lightning's still going off, even though the game is no longer on. And look at that money, that ching ching bling bling cash check. Anyway, and that brings us to the end of our episode of Mutant Football League here on Monday Night Football and Monday Night Spots here on, well, Minus One Entertainment. I want to thank you for joining us. And if you have liked this episode, I hope you will drop us a like. And I hope you will drop us a share. If you have anything that you want to comment upon, don't forget to go down to the comments and put your comments in there. Also as well, don't forget to hit that notification bell when you subscribe to World Minus One Entertainment. That's if you do. Because if you do, hit that notification bell. Because when you hit that notification bell, you get to find out when any and all content goes up on the channel which is always a win-win for all us for all of us and finally as always the link to the patreon is in the description below there may be some changes with the patreon coming up soon i will let you know when that happens of course i will let you know but thank you for joining us here on the mutant football league and monday night football here on monday night sport on world minus one entertainment and i want to thank you and I will see you all next time for some more mayhem. Take it easy, everyone.